I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to model this type of light that is in linear format. At the end of this video, you should be able to model something like this and it will produce light like this. Without further ado, let's get started. This is where I want to have the light and I want it to follow like this, follow like this then go back and meet this wall okay. for me to be able to achieve that i'm going to use sweep and in using sweep to go like this to go up go left then and go forward again the system we are going to use is we we'll first of all create a box so we are going to go to the floor plan and create a temporary box so i'm going to go to component model in place select casework click ok any name you give it doesn't matter for now then select extrusion click rectangle and pick it from here to here then finish it then go to the approach view let's go to the approach view this is that box that we just modeled make it full length you are going to establish a reference plane here and the distance of the reference plane to the beam ahead should just be 25 mm that is about one inch that will be the thickness of the line light that i want to model now you are going to grab this box and stretch it here so that the distance between the reference plane and this beam and this uh, upper beam is 25 mm because that is where the light is going to stay if you do not leave this gap it means that you are going to, your model will be inside the wall and it will not be visible we don't want our model to be inside the wall so that the light will be outside of the wall that's why we leave this space of 25 mm so that our light will be outside the wall right so you are going to also go to the right hand side let's go to the right hand side we'll go to the right right view that's where we can get the other view you are also going to establish another reference plane and the reference plane will also be 25 mm from this wall too so that the light will also be outside the wall okay because the thickness of that light that we want to create will just be about 25 mm that's about one inch right now you are going to select that box that you created earlier and you are going to stretch it to just be on this reference plane okay so we have two reference plane now one up and one vertical okay now we are going to finish our creation we have successfully created a box now now let's look at it in 3d you can see the box we have created this box is just to guide us at the end we are going to delete it it's not going to be here permanently we'll delete it later when we are done creating our light we are going to delete it okay for now it's going to guide us to create our light because of the way our light goes 
depends on the place where your light is if you are not going through ways like this you may not need this box okay it depends on the position of your light now we want to see only this we want to see only this box and i also need to do something quickly let me edit it because let me edit it edit extrusion i'll go to the floor plan again i want to offset it by 225 because i don't want the light to be exactly on the edge of this wall so i'm going to offset it by 225 and i'm going to uncheck copy okay so our light is going to follow like this like this then go down right, let's finish it now we can go to 3d now and finish it okay so we are going to select this box because for now we want to isolate any other thing we want to only see the box so i'm going to go to this icon that look like glass that look like uh, eye glass okay so i'm going to click on it and click on isolate elements so only the box is what you are going to see now okay you can see every other thing has been hidden in this project right so what i will do now is i am going to select architecture component model in place then i'll select casework click ok and you can give it a name line lights any name you give it doesn't matter just for you to know what you are doing okay so at this point i'm going to select sweep and the the parts i'm going to pick parts because it's going to be 3d i'm going to i'm not going to use this one in this particular case i will use this one because it's going to follow 3d part so you click on pick 3d edge and i will pick this one first so that this one will help me to produce the this one will help me to produce the profile so i select it i select this edge and i select this edge so you have it going like this like this and like this right so i'm going to finish it now then i'll click edit profile here i need to go to the top i will go to the top in going to the top you go to this view group and click the top All right now you can create the profile of your you can create the profile of your light now so if i select this one now i will make this one only 25 mm and press enter then i select this one and make it only 25 mm press enter okay so we have one here so i want to create the second light i can place a dimension here so that i will know the distance between them if i select this one now i want the distance between them to be Two to five and press enter on your keyboard so this is one light this is a second line the two of them will be concentric in nature so you they will be parallel to each other okay now i have created the profile i'm going to finish the profile now 
I will finish it. Now the line light has been created. You can see it here. So you can work on the material so that by the time you take it to Lumion, you will work on that material and the material will be light. So I named the material as line light. The name you give it doesn't matter. Just know the name you give it so that you know what you are going to do inside Lumion. Okay, so I will finish it now. If I finish it now, if I scroll up, you see the direction the light is going. Can you see that? I can unhide other model now. For me to unhide other model now, I simply go to this icon that look like eyeglass. Then click on reset temporary heat isolate. Okay, click on it. And it will unhide every other thing you have isolated before. It will unhide every other thing you have hidden before. So at this point, I'm going to delete this box now because I am done with it. So I will delete only the box, leaving the light we have just modeled. So when you get to Lumion, you simply select this material and make it emissive. So by the time you make it emissive and you render it, it will be exactly, you see that it will produce light like this. Now we are in Lumion now. So I'm going to select the material and select this particular uh, line light that we created. And once you select it, you click on this drop down, you go to these settings and you make it emissive. You can see the position of the emissivity. Just put it somewhere here and you are good to go. So you finish the material and you go to your photo mode and this is it here yeah? this is our the one we are using then you render it so this is how you can model lights that are in linear format in revit see you in the next video bye